Pretty sure at this point, I should probably just go ahead and join Jackets Anonymous. Is that a thing? It should be a thing because I got a new jacket and, uh, and I'm just saying I only paid $20 for it. And yes, I found it on eBay where I find all of life's gems, but I do also have a Kobe item I wanna show you guys. So let's jump right into this video. No, absolutely nothing about it is really all-star related, but hopefully you watch it anyway. TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ two swoosh chains what is going on everybody thank you again so much for tuning in to this video I think it's a Friday when you're viewing this I'm not really sure I just got done doing a live stream of Red Bull Walkie 414's page with Cadillac Jackson and Marcus from Soulmates and Lars with you guys probably know as Fineo as well as Q the Queen who was featured on that's right the sneakers app so salute to you girl that is so beyond amazing a way to represent for Chicago and all lady sneaker heads everywhere. We thank you so much for giving us a voice. So this video, I'm gonna try to just get right to the point. So it'll probably be a short one. Um, as Rep likes to call me, I am, the, he thinks I'm like the eBay queen. Listen, I just think a lot of things can be found on eBay. Like if you're patient and just do a wide search, you'd be surprised what you can find. That also gets me into trouble, hence me best offering on things and then people actually accepting the best offers. Then I have to pay for them because that's how e-commerce works and I got something else on the way that's an amazing deal um, but before we get into that I do want to show you guys so I got this a few weeks ago I just never did a video on it um, and I didn't title the video about this I just didn't want the whole video I didn't want that to be the only reason you watch the video but we are all aware it has been a few weeks now since the passing of Kobe as well as his oldest daughter and a number of other um, very cherished lost loved ones from the helicopter um, incident so like a lot of people that were fans of Kobe that wanted items of him to commemorate, to remember him, I already own Kobe 10s. Uh, I did go out searching for other shoes. Well, I already had shoes in my carts, but those prices went up on quite a few of them or they sold out immediately. So it's still gonna be the game of what price am I willing to pay or do I want to pay for that shoe versus other shoes that may be very hard for me to still get. And so that's where I'm at. But thank goodness that I can still wear uh, kid size clothes. I still wear large and extra large t-shirts. It's actually what this is. It's a Warriors Championship uh, Western Conference shirt and yes it is uh, a kid's large I think so I was able to actually browse on eBay and find this shirt now a lot of the things for Kobe are going enormously high of course we knew that was gonna happen uh, even for the clothing though like if you were trying to buy a lot of Nike Mamba t-shirts or hoodies it is gonna cost you quite a bit more over retail than what you would normally spend I lucked up and I was able to get what I think is an amazing shirt um, so this is a Kobe shirt now it has a very artistic design on the front as you can see it's kind of like sketched painting it's a uh, active shot of Kobe driving to the basket you can see the Mamba uh, logo that is right there on the shirt that he's wearing you have the basketball there and I just absolutely love it so I forget the official name of the shirt because there was a specific style of this t-shirt and I don't know if it's called the legends or what it may be called but I absolutely loved it as soon as I saw this um, so I actually think I paid thirty dollars maybe for this so not a bad price whatsoever seeing as most kids Nike t-shirts go for twenty five dollars anywhere from twenty five to thirty dollars so you guys can see now there's nothing on the back just a plain black shirt but uh, amazing Kobe shirt now it did come with the tags ladies and gentlemen so it's brand new never worn so as the tags on it I actually took the dry fit sticker off uh, before I went ahead and styled it for the b-roll so I am very happy to have this in my collection to be able to wear to remember him as you know one of the most dominant players of the era in which I grew up playing basketball watching and kind of like we discussed on the live the other day on Rep Milwaukee 414 page you know we watched Kobe grow up just as you know he grew up right in front of us so 
Here we are, so just the last little look for you guys to be able to see, so very happy to have this shirt. Now, the way I decided to style this here shirt, um, I actually kept it just true to with the jacket that I'm gonna show you all, so you guys are gonna see the B-roll jacket before you actually see the jacket, but I decided to just style it with the jacket and um, the Kobe tins that I own, and then I got these also on eBay, so these are uh, American Eagle Tom Girl jeans. If you're, ladies, if you're not familiar, you remember the whole boyfriend jean cut where it's a little bit looser, a little bit more comfier and relaxed. Okay, that's what Tom Girl jeans are. And that's exactly what they are. Like they have that nice relaxed fit. They're not too tight, not too loose. I've worn quite a few of them in pictures and then I style quite a few of them. So I think this is my fourth pair and only one of them I may have actually gotten from American Eagle. I think a lot of them I do find on eBay uh, and you can find, I mean, it's like vintage shopping. You guys do vintage style shopping and you go to the actual thrift stores. I used to do that a lot with my mom, but instead now I just go on eBay and I find things. So these are usually, you know, I don't know, usually what can they be? $45, $50 on actual American Eagle and then if they have sales, they can go down to 20 or 25, pay $9.99 plus shipping. Can't beat that. I mean, honestly, they, look like they weren't even worn so I decided to just do a basic fit of styling these with the Kobe T because I would probably rock it out to an event that is very laid back and casual and I would want to be comfortable so now I'll actually show you the point of this video and that is this very unique awesome Nike jacket yes it is a collarless <laughs> Nike jacket now this is very similar to some of the jackets in terms of the material that you've seen before kind of that cross hatch design that goes across now this does have a bluish tint to it. I don't know if you guys can really see that that well, but it does have a bluish tint to it. Now, the detailing on here, it has a lot of buttons. So this is a Nike sportswear jacket. You guys know that they are known for going outside of the box and really trying to make clothing. That is very street style appropriate, and I think they did a good job here. So on the sleeve, it does have NSW for Nike sportswear. I can tighten the sleeves, which I will definitely have to do because I have little bitty wrists. These are mini clats because I'm so little. Uh, so I can tighten the wrists there. And then there's like a flat here. Now the, just a panel that goes here. There's you know no pockets or anything um, on this side. Now you have buttons and this zips down. So very similar to Nike Tech Fleece, if you are familiar with that. And it has a pocket here. Now it's not a deep pocket, but it is a pocket right there. And then you have pockets on the front part and I can just slide my hand in there and it has a button that you can uh, fasten it closed now it's really just a shell of a jacket okay so you can look on the inside it's just a shell there's nothing else so this is a jacket I would definitely say you can wear inside or maybe if there's nicer weather out I mean not hot but eh, maybe 50s if you have something else layered under this or you know 60s most certainly I think this is a good jacket I love that it is collarless if you've ever seen very stylish suits blazers or separate a collarless look is a very sophisticated look I like it I'm a fan um, I've saved quite a few outfits with collarless jackets on my Pinterest I just have yet to actually buy a collarless jacket and of course the first one I buy is Nike because I have a Nike jacket problem but I, I couldn't pass this up now when you look at the design the way it slopes down in the front here take a look at that so it kind of has that a line that goes down it was just so different and I wanted to get it and the way I styled this it wasn't styled to be like dressed up I mean you could probably most certainly wear this with a sweater a button down or anything of that nature but I didn't want to style it that way so the way you actually see me style this jacket um, I take a uh, Jordan jersey and I decide to style that with some um, very skinny black pants and then I did bust out the uh the Concords. I mean, why not, right? Because I never, I still haven't worn them. They're extremely icy. The 2018 Concords are still icy. I have not worn them yet, just so you guys know. So I decided to bust those out for this jacket. And then I also styled, of course, the Kobe tins with the Kobe shirt, which I'll show you guys one more time. And finally, following that, I decided to um, style this with my favorite. So currently, like not my all-time favorite artist, but my current favorite artist is actually NF. 
so don't know if you guys know who that is, but real music is the slogan of his music and tagline and um, albums. It will, it's associated with all of his albums. So you guys can check him out if you've ever heard um, Time, like literally T-I-M-E, or um, Let You Down, those are his songs. So I decided to go ahead and style that T. Now it's actually more of an elongated T, but you guys can't tell that in the B-roll, sorry. It's an elongated T, but it has real music and a big black um, white box on the front, I guess, of the shirt that you could say. And in terms of the kicks, I actually wanted to just go with Air Max. Air Max month is approaching. I'm a big Air Max fan. I don't wear my 270s enough. So I decided to go ahead and use those. So that's like the dusty cactus, white and black Air Maxes. And I did style my glasses and my watch in them. I've been wearing my glasses a lot more. Um, they're blue light glasses, but they are really stylish. So I wear them a lot more. And then my watch as just a staple piece. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning into this. You know I, at any given point, can go buy something or I'll get something sent in. And my mind automatically thinks, how can I style this? So I was very excited to get the jacket in. So just one more time, show you guys. Now comes the difficult part of making sure that I have time to try and actually get pictures in all of the fits that I did for this jacket. But let's just go ahead and get it on now. You see how it fits. Ah, I like it. I do. I really, really do. I like it. Had I gone down any smaller, it would not have fit thanks to my shoulders. But all right, so another Nike jacket in the closet. I am collecting more Nike jackets than I am sneakers at this point because I think I am up to like four Nike jackets. One, two, three. Like four Nike jackets and only one pair of sneakers so far. What is going on in the world? Also, yeah, have a good weekend. Uh, whatever you are trying to go for, good luck. I know Chicago will be wild. People have already camped out, and it's Tuesday, and people are already camped out. So please be safe. Have fun on All-Star Weekend. Act your age, not your shoe size, as always. Peace.